Congressman, uh, firstly, thank you for joining us. Happy to be with you. You know, um, you hear Nick Langworthy say this was an issue about mental health. We hear that often, right? When Whenever these cases occur, mental illness, hate, radicalization, a whole range of issues. But there's one constant, it's the weapon, uh, these the guns that are used in these attacks. So why are we not able to limit access or, or ban guns like AR-15s? Yeah, rhetoric does not substitute for action. And the truth is that you know, there are 400 million guns in America today. Uh, no country uh, on this earth has more guns than Americans do. And assault weapons are designed to do one thing, kill people quickly and in large numbers. If you look at all of these killings, the one in Buffalo, uh, the one in Texas, and all of these other ones, it's typically one shooter with an assault weapon that kills an inordinate amount of people in a very short period of time. Uh, these two killers, the, the, the most recent in Texas and in Buffalo, were 18 years old. 81% oh, of Americans, 81% of Americans, that includes every political persuasion, supports a, a comprehensive background check uh, for all gun sales. 64% uh, of Americans support a ban, a categorical ban on assault weapons. Now, we had a, a retired police officer, a veteran of, of the Buffalo Police Department, 30 years, mm -hmm. who, uh, who was buried today, uh, who was waked yesterday. Uh, he had a gun, but he was helpless because the shooter that killed 10 people in Buffalo had an assault rifle and he had tactical gear, including body armor. Uh, our police are being outgunned. Our communities are under siege by people who have been radicalized uh, on social media and are doing terrible things to people mm -hmm. on a false premise, you know, replacement therapy. We need a renewal therapy. Congressman, I have seen you at uh, the funerals for the victims of the shooting at Tops. Um, I, I can only imagine what goes through your mind, thinking what, what more can I do to try to make sure that I am not attending more funerals like this. Um, it, it, you, you talked about the challenge of, of, of gun control. Is the filibuster really what's preventing real reform from happening, from getting HRA, for example, to get passed? It truly is, and let me just give you a, a, a very, very clear example. When there was a shooting that killed 26, actually 27, uh, Sandy Hook School, elementary school, in Newtown, Connecticut. In 2013, the Senate uh, voted to impose uh, background checks on all gun sales. 54 senators voted for it representing 198 million people. 46 voted against it, representing 118 million people. And because of the Senate filibuster, it requires 60 votes, not to pass the landmark legislation, but just to vote on it, you don't have the votes. So 194 million people, uh, the, 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 the will of the majority was thwarted by 118 million. And yeah, it's, it's the filibuster. And we, and we know that the filibuster is such a hot issue. And, and I, I don't know if we're going to see any change there with the filibuster. So, so what can we do? Parents are terrified to send their kids to school. So we know that the filibuster is, is, a, is a challenge in getting things enacted into law. So what can you do, Congressman? For a bill to come law, it has to pass in the House, which the background checks legislation passed overwhelmingly in the House in March of 2021, over a year ago. It sits in the Senate. The Senate would have to take up same as legislation, get it passed, get it voted on, get it passed, and then it goes to the president for a signature. Now, the Senate Majority Leader, uh, Charles Schumer, has indicated a good faith effort to try to get together with a bipartisan group. But my concern is that this stuff gets watered down. I mean, we need action, I, you know, I, I, respectfully. You know, members of the Senate and the House that stand on the floor and pontificate about sending our thoughts and prayers does nothing for anybody. When 10 people are killed in Buffalo, and about two weeks later, uh, 21 are killed in Texas, that is an urgent reminder to people who have been elected to office to serve and protect their people, to take decisive action toward the goal of keeping the public safe. Uh, 
Congress is failing in its responsibility. And this should not be tolerated. The overwhelming majority of Americans, 81%, support comprehensive background checks for everyone who owns a gun. 64% support a ban on assault rifles. Mm -hmm. uh, what are we doing here? We need to do much better on behalf of the people of Buffalo, the victims, and also the people in Texas, and all of the others uh, that have died to, to gun violence uh, in the last uh, decade. We're going to have to leave it there. Uh, Congressman Higgins, thank you so much for joining us here on 7 News.